this one is great for a good picture with the motorbike and Totoro. Ready for another adventure hunting invaders. I think it is, it's darker than I expected, but it, the sun is already rising there. So we shouldn't be too bad. I hope you cannot actually see, but I hope I'll be able to get out in that hole with the motorbike because my roommates always jam and block the way. Anyways, we're gonna go and hunt some invaders in Marseille for the new invasion with my friend Toto uh, and yeah have some fun ride and flash a bunch of invaders I got about 80 to do I hope I can do it all in one day if not I'll just go back and be less busy because today if I want the 80 and I have two on the way before Marseille. Uh, it's gonna be busy, so let's go. Alright, so first stop on the way to Marseille. Uh, it's fingers, I'm doing those stops even though I might run out of time in Marseille because of those stops, but they're on the way and the roads are amazing around here. So I better ride around here instead of taking the highway. So yeah, it's taking me a bit longer. Just gonna be strategic once in Marseille to get them all. It's here, a very posh neighborhood. Uh, with like private roads and everything. But there are some small ways for the public to get to the beach because this invader is on the beach. Because it's in a posh neighborhood, it's also unlikely that this one will last for very long. Because it's been it's already been removed and uh, when I was checking it before it just wasn't there it's also pretty hard to find so yeah let's go get it
Okay, so this one is done. Uh, head on to the next one, which is in La Ciota. Uh, there's actually, so the one in La Ciota wasn't there last time I went because some were deactivated. It's actually a shame because here, as you see, it's all private property. They build like giant concrete walls to protect themselves from the sea and stuff. I don't know. And when someone comes and does kind of like art, like the, especially the invader thing with the mo the all the, the mosaic, is they remove it for whatever reason. There's someone's trying to make it look better and they remove it. So yeah. But you've got people actively reactivating them. Uh, especially here, uh, the couple reactivation that I got, this one included, and the next one, were done by Cactus Club on Instagram. Check them out. If you have invaders that need reactivating around your neighborhood, they might do it at some point. They're very active. Let's get on to the motorbike. Head to La Ciota. All right, it is way too late uh, and I'm running the end schedule. Anyway, let's find this one which is right over there. So getting my first of the new invaders here in Marseille. I already got the first 13 one. I'm just gonna get this one and I hope I can get all of the, one, uh, the new ones in the amount of time I've got. So let's go. All right, next one. Uh, here I'm doing the one that are a bit outside the center and in the here it's not a bad bad place but in the more uh, sensitive areas that I don't want to be around the evening. So yeah, uh, just gonna do those. I'm not gonna film every time because otherwise it's gonna take me way too much time. All right, so this one I gotta talk quickly about. This one, because it's kind of supposed to be hard to find. And since the map has kind of been put on Instagram and is available here or there, uh, actually once you've figured all the others, it's fairly easy to find on Google map and stuff. At least I didn't have a hard time. Maybe I was lucky to just drop a point here, but I knew the area and yeah, just this barrier is kind of a, you can see it on Google Map, well, Google Street View. Anyways, home to the other.
considering some of the neighborhoods that I've been to, uh, I'm glad that it's right in the morning, like not morning, like it's in the afternoon, early in the afternoon and not in the evening because some places, I don't know, I'm just not so confident. Here is pretty rough, you know, but there's nobody around, so if there's no people, there's nothing to be, not much to be worried. I guess, but yeah, some of the places I uh, wouldn't stay. I, I just was there for a very short time, just flashed it, didn't do too much fast, maybe a couple pictures or what, but didn't stay for long because you know, just neighborhoods that I don't want to hang in. Uh, full of very nice people, but also some that give it a bad reputation, anyways. Let's keep going. I think that's the last one that is kind of a, in a tough neighborhood. So uh, I'm just gonna do the other that is nearby and then head to uh, actually a very fancy neighborhood along the beach, along the coast, up north. I might have just helped someone steal a car. No, I'm just kidding. Basically, just where the invader was, there was a small street and someone wanted us to help him push a car. But after that, it gets up uphill. So there was like the four of us and we were pushing it. And we're like, yeah, we, we, you don't want to go all the way uphill, right? Because it was way too steep. Anyways, we push the car, we help someone. Hopefully he gets his car fixed. Uh, I got all of the invaders, the four invaders that are in this area called Lestak. I helped uh, dad with his kid finding them and I'm gonna head right to Mamou, uh, Marseille Modular, where the, ex with the, uh, the exhibition is happening. And because it's closing at 6 and it's about 3 so I want to be there before it closes so I'm gonna get there and then I'm just gonna do the other one <sighs> it's exhausting pushing cars all right let's get to it okay so I'm at the feet of Le Corbusier a big building here in Marseille uh, on top of there is a art gallery Hopefully the wind is not... Anyway, and, and that art gallery is a bunch of invaders on top of the building and it's kind of pretty so we're gonna go check it out. And also I need to buy a map here for all the invaders, which I already know where they are but just it's fun to have the map. Anyways, let's go in. So little concept here on top of where it's supposed to be the exposition you can actually see like two without trespassing those kind of signs and stuff all of the others you have to trespass for example the one that is just in the box right there so there is a security guy from uh, yeah like the building who goes around and checks out and you're gonna have to like avoid his tour not to get caught so yeah I think I got them all all of the others are downstairs so I didn't get to picture take pictures and uh, film them that much because I don't want to get 
cut. That's kind of part of the game. So I'm just gonna. I think I have a mole. I've heard about one that might be in the building. I need to look for it. And then I'm good. So yeah, the concept right here is kind of to uh, have that cat and mouse game with the guy who does the security. And like Invader does when he puts out his art. So I was lucky that I saw, I was doing the tour and I saw the security guy and he went down. So he's not going to be here for a while and I got to check them out. Alright, so I'll put it back around a little bit and explain the concept to some people. Went to the bookstore where they're selling the map and I was told before that, that it was sold out but they're gonna get, have some more on Wednesday and I just paid the woman and she's just gonna send it to me. She took a bunch of orders. So that's good, I'm gonna get my map in the mail. Perfect! Now I have 61 left and it's... About four o'clock. It's gonna be tough. I got like a bunch of hours to get them all. Let's go try. Okay, so I realize here that the three that are in the calon over there require some hiking. So there's a whole bunch of cars around and you need to hike about 30 minutes there and back. So an hour. I don't have the time for that right now. I'll probably come back another weekend. Maybe find someone to do the hike with me in Les Calanques. That would be cool. And that way I'll be able to enjoy it a little bit more because here I'm kind of rushing it. To be honest but yeah gonna just do the other ones that don't require hiking so those three for another time hopefully they stay there then don't get removed fingers crossed and I'm just gonna eat a bunch of sandwiches and I wish I had water. I think there's water test on the other side. This one is great for a group picture with the motorbike and Totoro. Apparently there's some jealous people that throw paint at invaders. That's not the first time I've seen that, but on one so fresh. Anyways, people will be people. Okay, uh, so I'm going along the riverside, the seaside, and there's quite a bit of traffic. And on my way to the center to flash the rest of the invaders that I need. I've already done quite a bit.
one that I'm doing with the motorbike bike. Technically the next one might be the last one, but I'm just gonna go to the center, leave the motorbike and walk because there's a whole bunch of them that are concentrated on the same part. And hopefully I get to do more because each time I have to get on it, put the key, plus and everything. So maybe I'll be able to like flash a whole bunch and and be happy with my results because so far I'm not so happy with my results. Uh, probably around 40, 50. Uh, I hope to get yeah about 10 or 20 in a couple of hours in the center. Let's go. so it's almost 24 hours of being up and most of the time spent riding the motorbike in the city or on the highway so yeah uh, I'm pretty happy in the end with all of the invaders that I got because uh, I only need 10 more two of them I was not able to flash because it was dark two others what well, three others are on private property and then three others are uh, in I need to hike to get there and two others have been destroyed so yeah that's around I think I need uh, there's about 10 that I don't have yet so I'm probably gonna get back there at some point I am Quite happy with my day, even though I spent quite a bit, of, quite a bit, a little bit of money on uh, gas and tolls. So that's what invaders makes me do. Even though I usually don't finance those kind of things too much, but anyways, I'm having fun with Toto. Toto was fun to have around. Uh, for this one, he has a bunch of pictures on the live. Well, they don't say that. Yeah. Alright, thank you for watching. Remember that if it's easy, it's not funny. And see you in the next one.